Hey everyone, welcome back. If you've been following this channel at all, you know that my editing platform of choice is Adobe Premiere Pro. And basically, this is because as a college professor, I more or less get it for free. So what's wrong with that? However, not all of you are college or university professors who can get it from your institution for free. Your medical doctors, your statisticians, your researchers, and you want another option. Well, that's what we're going to do today. Today, I am going to download, install, and play around with DaVinci Resolve. Now, from what I've heard from very, very credible sources, DaVinci Resolve is a very powerful, very robust, very popular editing platform that's free. Yeah, right? Free. So let's go ahead and jump in and check this out. I am going to get out of your way so that you can see my screen. And as you see here, I am at blackmagicdesign.com. Now, all you have to do is type in DaVinci Resolve into your, uh, whatchamacallit, that, that Google thing. You go ahead and type that in and, and you'll be good to go. Now, by the way, you notice Black Magic Design. I did not know that DaVinci Resolve was from Black Magic. Black Magic, and this is a different page here, they make all kinds of very solid movie cameras and, and gear and so forth at a, well, I wouldn't say prosumer. They're more expensive than that. I wouldn't say professional. They're less expensive than that. They're a really nice in-between stage for serious movie makers and cinematographers. So, so yeah, that gives me a sense of trust in this, uh, what is it, software. So I'm going to go ahead and free download now. Okay, so first of all, it's saying, hey, do I want DaVinci Resolve 17 or Studio 17? Let's check out the differences. Hollywood's most popular software for editing, visual effects, yada, yada, and so on and so forth, includes everything in the free version plus neutral. Okay, so here we go. DaVinci Resolve 17 is going to be our free version, but later on, if we want to go off and make the next Hollywood blockbuster, we can check out Studio 17. But right now, I'm going with Resolve 17. Okay, it's going to ask for my information. Okay, I throw all that in there, hit register and download. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for it. And it's going to give me a zip file. Fantastic. All right, so here's our zip file. Let's open this. Let's go ahead and pull that on out. All right, so I can see here that it gives me some options. Since I don't know anything about it, I'm just going to leave everything as is and hit install. And it goes about and does its magic. Black magic. Ooh, damn, I'm funny. Okay, next. You bet. I don't read a thing and I agree to it. Welcome to the 21st century. All right, so now it's going to go through the install process. All right, now I'm not going to look at the README. I'm just going to go ahead and play with it. So hit finish. Okay, and to complete installation, I have to restart my computer. Restart now? Well, yeah, as soon as I hit stop recording here. All right, I've restarted the computer, so let's see what this does. All right, so in order to install, you must install these components. All right, fine. We can do that. Install complete. Fantastic. All right, what's new? Well, I've never looked at this before, so I don't really care what's new. Let's go ahead and hit continue. All right, quick setup. All right. Yeah, you bet. Oh, just normal HD here, thank you. Sure, that looks like a great place to put my videos. Let's see, select your keyboard layout. You know what, let's just go ahead and go with your keyboard layout. All right, I'm all set. 
Hmm, let's see, blocking some features. Well, let's go ahead and allow. And it looks like it wants to allow some more things. You betcha, allow access. All right, here we are. We are in DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and try this out. I've never done this before, so we are experimenting completely cold. I am going to go ahead and open up uh, some video files I have. I will go ahead and pull over this one. And can I just drop it there? Let's check this out. The selected clip have a different frame rate to the project. Would you like to change your timeline? Uh, yes, let's go ahead and change it. I want to match the project. Okay, fantastic. Oh, check that out. It allows you to do a little scrub there over that. That's kind of cool. All right, let's pull this down into this timeline here. I assume that's a timeline. Yeah, and it allows me to scrub across. That's kind of interesting. It's almost, why am I not scrubbing? Oh, I see. I can scrub from there as well. And it shows me where I am up here. Interesting. Okay. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do, dear friends. I'm going to go ahead and experiment with this. I'll go ahead and try to do a simple edit. And once I figure it out, I'll come on back, show you how I've done it. And maybe this will be a good editing solution for you. All right. So thanks a lot for joining and we'll talk again soon.